awkward on this one. Hello, everyone. It's me, Steph. And me, David. And it is time for our team chat. And we are so glad for those of you that were able to get here and be on live with us tonight. But for those of you that weren't, because it is not our normal night, we totally get it. And thank you for catching the replay. Um, over the next few weeks, we're going to be focusing on things that will help you grow your front line. And as part of that is, um, you know, recruiting, right? That's what our front line is all about. That's what we're focusing on. That's one of going to be one of our big themes going forward into 2021 is focusing on um, recruiting and building your team and all that. So we have the focus on the five that we got from the workstation. And um, what we're going to talk about this week is creating welcome packets. Um, welcome packets are a great thing that you can do. And there really is no right or wrong way to do them. Um, we have done them digitally. We ha actually have a, um, a form we send out that goes out as a PDF to every new consultant that joins our team. Um, we have done them in fancy envelopes with scent circles and samples and all kinds of things in them that we hand out, um, like when we do events or the fair. Um, and we've even had even smaller ones that like I would carry around in my bag with me. And when somebody, we would run into somebody that would ask us about our Cincy business, um, I can hand them out at that point too. There is no right or wrong way to do a welcome packet. But there are some basic things that we like to include in our welcome packet. And so I thought the easiest way to do that would be to kind of show you guys what um, a sample. And a lot of this mm -hmm. is um, I've taken from one of our leaders um, in our group, and that is from Dawn Edmondson. She created this great document. And so I kind of just rebranded it for our team, um, well, for our for us. And um, I've actually put it up into Canva today. I spent today doing that because you guys know I'm not a big Canva user. So that was a big, mm, took me a minute. Uh, but that way I can actually share that file with you guys and you can edit the names and you can edit the picture, put your own picture in there um, or not have a picture at all and edit the websites and all the things to customize it easily for you to use in the future. But one, let me just kind of go through what we have in our welcome packet, if I can share my screen. And I wanna share, not screen, this one, right? Okay. All right, so you can kind of see here, um, it just says, this is like the cover page of it. You click join, welcome to the family. I kind of wanted to go with like this magic mirror kind of theme because I was thinking, you know, magic yeah, mirror. Magic mirror on the wall. Yeah. You know, expect great things and you have to start by expecting great things with yourself. Okay. So the first thing I'd say is, yeah, you did it. We're so excited that you decided to join our WAX family. We're here to help you, coach you, support you and make your business what you want it to be. And then um, save this phone number. And that is my cell phone number, which is the number that they'll be text from and all that good stuff. Um, That's a good picture of us. It is. That was a fun time too, because that was in Anaheim. So the next thing is the first things first and, you know, announce your business on social media, um, share your personal website link, all of those things kind of goes through. This is not an opportunity packet. This is they've, you've already got them. You know, there's a big difference. And I think we should maybe next week, we'll go back and talk about opportunity packets. I kind of got these out of order. Um, but this, it kind of goes through, you know, okay, you joined here, go to your website, uh, go to your workstation. Um, create your party link and it kind of goes through the steps of doing that do the first things first checklist because it's the most important thing it teaches you how to use the workstation um, watch the new consultant videos that are linked in the checklist they're super important um, and those kind of things so it's kind of like a one two and maybe should make those like more set up three set up your launch party and then share that launch party link out um <clears throat> Create a Facebook group for your people. So this is kind of walking them through all the things they should do when they begin. Um, you know, name your group, keep it simple, name your name, and then the scent event slash, dash, slash launch party. Now, you know, with groups, you can change the name at any point. So if you decided like um, you wanted to drop launch party off and call it your VIP group later, you can go back and rename that. Um, and if you need additional training on how to do that, 
we will be happy to do that within the group. Um, don't stress, I'm here to help you out with the launch party. As a sponsor, one of the things you um, are welcome to do is help them with the launch party. You can uh, point them in the right direction of where to find the party in a box. You can um, share like the tips and tricks you use. You can share your uh, party experience with them. You can go to their house and help them actually physically host their party. Now, remember, you have to keep your social distancing and all of that in check and your uh, numbers right and all the good things with that. But um, you are uh, the sky, the limit is to what you want to do. If you want somebody to truly be successful with this, you have to help them and show them and guide them um, through that very first party. Because the more successful that very first party is, the more successful they will be in the future and the more comfortable they will be to, able to do it on their own the next go around. Yeah, because that's what the big point is, is to get them comfortable. You're not going to be there. <clears throat> You're not going to be there forever yes. to hold their hand, yes. right? To no. make sure the party's no, because it's good. Their business. It's their business. They, their business. And they may do things differently after they do their first party, but at least right. you want to get them jump started. Correct. Right. Yes. Yes. So that's what we're talking about. So then you need to chat about setting up um, a time and date so you can help. So you can, as the sponsor, can answer any additional questions. So you can do this over Zoom. You can do this over Facebook video. You can do FaceTime, whatever it is that you use. Now, for us, we require that that first thing, first checklist be completed before we set that meeting up. And that's something at this point, when we're talking to the new consultant, we say, okay, once you have that first things first checklist completed and we can see it's checked in the workstation, um, let me, uh, let's set up that call. And we want to get that done within the first 72 hours. It is critical that they get through that first things first checklist and those first 72 hours because it teaches them so much about their business that makes everything else pretty much easy or more under easier to understand. Um, the next thing I have is kind of I put in here some links. Um, so we'd love to stay connected with everyone. If you hadn't, if you haven't yet headed over and sh wait, <laughs> I obviously need to reword this. Um, we want to stay connected basically. And so what I did was I gave them the link to mine and David's personal Facebook profiles. And that way they can go in, they can shoot us a friend request on Facebook, and then we can be connected with them like that. Mm. We want to be connected with everybody in our front line one-on-one. -on -one. That way they have us where they can Facebook message us, text us or whatever, um, more, and on a more personal level. And then we also have a groups we suggested. So using Canva, I also created a link page where they can go in and uh, click on, um, if they type in simplyverts.com forward slash bop, boss, boss, up, boss up, it will uh, populate some links. And it's got like a link to our team page, a link to We Shine Brighter, which is our superstar directors uh, community page. Um, and it's got a link to um, the all consultant page and I think the flyer page. But the, the great thing about that whole process we did with that is I can add more links as we find their importance. Or if something becomes unimportant anymore or we outgrow it, or like, let's say it's a flyer group and the flyer group closes down with doing it that way. I don't have to update this again. I can just go update those uh, links that are living live on the internet instead of having to come in here and re re rebuild the world. Um, we also invite them to follow us and like our pages um, on Facebook and Instagram. All they have to do is search for at Wax Squad and they should find us and be able to follow us in those locations. Um, then we want to talk about what are their first goals. Of course, their first goal is to get that $500 in the first 15 days. And um, then the next goal is to approach certified. Those two goals go hand in hand. The more successful you are at um, accomplishing these goals, the more successful your business will be going into the future. So what is Shooting Star? Shooting Star is 500 in the first 15 days. What is a certified consultant? Uh, that's when you sell uh, over $1,000 in lifetime sales. So it kind of gives them a little graphic, you know, so they can color it in. They can write in what their 15th day is um, if they choose to print this out. Because like I said, a lot of times we send this out digitally to people. <coughs> Even if they don't, they can open this as a PDF. So they should be able to open it and edit it on their phone as well. Um, next one. Um, and then this shows them what's in the Shooting Star Enhancement Kit. Um, you know, all the things that they can get there. 
Uh, then a, or sensational start or level one, two, three, your first 70 days. What do you get in the first 70 days? Um, one of the things I tell people when we're doing this is make your goal bigger than you think you should be able to achieve. It is a lot easier to reel that goal back in when you are shooting for something bigger. So I suggest everybody starts with shooting for a sensational start level three, the 3000 in PRV and two um, uh, essential consultants who go active within those first 70 days. This is a huge goal, but we have seen people do it. We've seen people do it on the other side where they've done the 6,000 in PR in sales in that short time as well. Um, and of course they've completed the first things first checklist is required for all three levels. But you as you as a new consultant and you as a sponsor, you as a sponsor and your new consultant need to set that goal and figure out what is the right goal for them. What do they feel that they are with that is within their grasp? Um, I always tell them my story that I started out and I set my goal at sensational start level three. That's what I wanted to hit. And we hit level two. And that's okay because it was really great accomplishment for us too. Um, so set a goal because if you're reaching towards something, you're much more likely to hit it or um, get something out of it. If you're not, if you have no goal, you're never you're not setting yourself up for success with any of these. Yeah, and the reason for the uh, getting the checklist done within the first 72 hours is the sooner they get that part done, that's one of the uh, steps that has to be done. So if you get them to do that before you actually schedule anything else going forward, they've already got one checkbox off and now they're just working on the yes. other things. Yes, and the, the other thing about <clears throat> this piece on the sensational start is it also tells you what, awards they receive for doing these so on top of the commissions that they're going to earn they also get these um award placement things okay so then here's of course you know me i like a little bit of extra graphics so here's a little graphic that they can use to color in um and track where they are with their sensational start um the next thing is a few more important things to know um so this is about the orders tab you know the paid posted printed ship so you know what each one of those mean because that is always a huge question. Um, consultant supports phone number. Um, as a new consultant, until they hit that thousand dollars, they do not have chat. So they will need to use the 1-800 number to get support. And also to remember that support is only open Monday through Friday, um, 6 a.m. Mountain Time to 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, da -da -da. An acronyms, we throw them around like crazy. Um, we throw them around like crazy. We are always using an acronym with Cincy. So that gives them a breakdown of, you know, PRV, PWV, uh, SC, SO, TM, WO, TM, you know, all the things that we take for granted that we just know and other people don't. Um, PWS, PR, PV, PRV, you know, all of those mm -hmm. things. Yeah, we just kind of assume that right. everybody knows what it is. Right. And not everyone speaks Cincy lingo yet. Not yet. Not yet. The goal is to get them there. So this is a great tool so that they can see that it is um, available for them. Um, and lastly, on that page, the workstation. The workstation is their best friend. This is where they can go and check news. They can find out information. Um, as a sponsor, your job is to help guide them. That doesn't mean that you always have to be the answer for them. You know, if they have gone to the workstation and they search and they search and they can't find it, that's a different thing then if they haven't looked at all and they come to you and they want you to just feed them the answers. Um, <clears throat> many of our consultant, our directors and leaders um, use a 24 hour rule. I can't do that because of my anxiety. I have to get you an answer, but, <laughs> <laughs> but they give, they don't answer right away. And um, as a consultant, that would be frustrating to me but a lot of them will wait 24 hours and then message you or message their team line, their downlines back because they want them to take the opportunity to search for it for themselves because it is their business. So I think by beginning the relationship and letting them know that the workstation is their best friend, all of the answers legitimately are 99% of the time in the workstation um, is a great way to start off and kick your relationship off so that you're not always constantly um, answering questions that they could have easily found with doing a search on the workstation.
Yeah. And sometimes the very first time the person is doing creating a party, uh, they're kind of nervous. So I can see like uh, them, you know, with with the paper, you know, show them the resource. That's the big thing. Show yeah. them the resource. But even with the resource, that very first time they're going to create a party, they're like, yeah, I got this piece of paper that says it's supposed to be this. I'm just so you, you they may lean yeah. on you a little bit uh, that first time. But once they've created a party, the, the second, yeah. third time, should, it gets should better. Be, it gets know, better. The next thing that um, customer that I have in this packet is how much do I make? Because that's mm -hmm. always the next question new recruits ask. OK, so it breaks it down as simple as I could think of. You start making 20 percent off of all your sales you do by yourself. Once you promote to certified, you make 5% more, 25% raise. If you sell 2,000 or more in a single month, you make 30%. That's a guaranteed $600 paycheck. And the more you sponsor, the more team members you have, the bigger your income will be. And it is important that you understand as a sponsor that your frontline is where you make that money. So that's why you've got to continue to grow your frontline even though your team may be growing, if you're not growing your individual front line, you're making mistakes. Um, and it's not important that your new recruits know that, but it's important that you as a sponsor know that because that front line number is, it makes a difference in your commissions. And we'll go over that on another call a little bit more in depth on when you start tearing up. I like that tearing up, promoting tearing up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so getting paid again, um, you get paid the 10th of every month. Where can you find your pay, pay amount? That's how they find their commission history. How do you get paid through CNC Pay Portal? How do I access my pay portal? Uh, CNCPay.com. So those are, I think that was dope. And then the last one I have is the follow-up app. Download the Sell with Amy app on your smartphone. Um, it is free. You can use the free version and it's still a great way to keep up with your customers and uh, make sure that you're following up with them on all the things even if you are just using it for a very basic follow-up, um, it's a great tool. Follow-up is key. Follow-up is key. And I think the more that we stress that with our new recruits, um, the easier it is. So I'm going to stop sharing. So that is the basics of what our welcome packet looks like. Now, when I give this out, I actually have these fancy little folders I got from the Target Dollar Spot. And I just put it in one of those, like, it looks like a file folder. That's all it looks like. It's, it's not really that fancy, but it is. It's just kind of got shapes and designs on it. So it's not super fancy. It's just a file folder. You could use a manila folder and put a sticker on it, or you can get the cutesy ones from Target. Um, and then I put a catalog. I put one of our business cards in here. That way they, I know they've given them my phone number twice. Um, I might put a scent circle in here. I might put car bar, you know, just kind of whatever I've got on hand. I don't necessarily order specific things for our welcome packets, but I try to make sure I give one of these to everyone. Um, that's for local people. Uh, we don't really have a great system for when we recruit somebody online. Um, like I said, what we usually do with those is send them the digital file. And then within that, after that 72 hours of they've done the first things first checklist, then we set up like a Zoom call or a, um, Facebook video or hangout or whatever they want to do. And we go basically through this document with them, just like I did today. So while recruiting may seem scary and you may not know really what to do, I can tell you that this welcome packet is 100% the best way we've found to bring new recruits on board and help them understand um, what they need to do in that first beginning period and make sure that they feel comfortable. I will tell you that the recruits that I am able to get to schedule that meeting and we talk one-on-one -on -one with are much more successful than the ones that uh, kind of just do it on their own. Now that's not going to happen every time you're going to get the random person that's going to join and they're going to just go off and like be a rock star and that's great. Um, but a lot of times people will be afraid to tell you when they aren't feeling successful. So when they host their launch party and nobody shows up. That doesn't mean they should quit. That means that we need to help them find um, what, what went wrong. Was it the timing of the party? Was it, um, did you actually communicate one-on-one -on -one with people? Did you send them out a mass text message? There's a lot of different things that you need to uncover, I think is the best way to put that, when you're trying to see whether or not 
um, what the reason was for their unsuccessful, or what the reason was they were successful. Uh, and sometimes, you know, you, you know, as your team grows, you might have a downline that gets somebody on their team, and then they're going to need to come to you for guidance on some of those some same things where, you know, it's two levels down from you, and that that person had a launch party and nobody showed up, and their sponsor may not know how to answer that specific question. So then they'll rely on you. And then if you have a question, you rely on us. So. Exactly. Exactly. So what we will be doing is we will be posting, I'm going to fix the couple errors I had in this, and then I'll be posting it in the team page. Um, and then if you guys have anything that you do differently in your welcome packet, um, I would love for you to share that in the comments of that post. That way everyone can kind of get an idea of what the different welcome packets look like. If you feel comfortable and you want to do a live on the team page with your welcome packet and what you're doing to welcome new people to your team or what your plan is to welcome new people to your to the team, please feel free to do that in between now and next week, Monday, um, because Monday we'll be going into the next thing. Um, but definitely welcome packets are something we need to do. We need to be inviting people in. Um, like I said, you are more than welcome to use ours. I will put that out there so that you can um, edit it and do the things. Once I corrected a few things I made mistakes on, I noticed as we were going through it. Um, and what else? Is it? I don't think so. Yes. So share what your welcome packets are in um, the team page. And I appreciate that. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else we need to share today? Well, how do I get out of that? Oh, there you go. Uh, Um, I will tell you this, we did find out we are not allowed to share how much, okay, we can, well, with, when it comes to team shout outs, we are mm. more restricted than I think we realize um, in what we can and cannot say as far as monetary things go with team shout outs. So typically um, you may have seen in the We Shine Brighter group where they said all these people were over 2000 PRV. We can't actually say that. Um, that is, we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to say the dollar amounts. Um, it's a legal thing. Uh, it just came out in the director's page uh, a couple weeks ago and I haven't had a chance to share that with you guys. So, um, what you can do is you can share that who is active and you can share your top like 10. So as far as we go, we kind of have always been doing it that way where we're just sharing who our top 10 people are. Um, so if you want to post your top people, um, go ahead and do that. But I think it's important to share that with you. You can't say, we can't do like a 500. We're not supposed to do a 500 club or 200 club or 100 club or act, but you can do an active and then you can do the top recruiters and top mm -hmm. PRV. I think it's about that. I can see that. Um, yes. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. So that was the important thing. I remember from that, uh, I did not make it to the leadership call Monday. So um, looks like there's a new wax collection coming out. Mm -hmm. Catching Z's. Lights out. Oh, pillow time. Can Shut eye. Sleepy, happy scent. Snuggle up. This looks like a good collection. I mean, we just need to get all of them and melt one little block all together. I'm already sleepy. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So there's there's a new wax collection coming out. It will go, it will release January 11th yeah, at 9:30 between 9:30 and 10:30. I guess I better get my order in for that. That looks good. Um, but all the information is on the workstation about that. It's going to be twenty-eight dollars. So you get five bars. Twenty dollars for all five. Yeah. Uh, updates bring in summer kit sales start the eighteenth. What's the say? Okay. Uh, purchase featuring products. So this uh, the summer kits will be available starting the eighteenth. Um, you can choose to purchase the sense of the season. I actually posted these in the team page earlier this week or last week of what the different ones were available and the cost on them. I'm not sure what the difference is and what the update was there. Uh, 
both February scent and warmer of the month and our delayed scent and warmer of the month kit are both delayed. Uh, Glimmer and Glow, I posted that in the group. Uh, it's oh, going to have good. the new lid. I have not heard back. Somebody asked if that lid was going to be free for people that already got it or if they would have to pay for it. Um, I believe they said they would exchange it if you have the order number. So if you have somebody that got a Glimmer and Glow and they want to exchange the lid, you would just need to grab the order number of where that was ordered. So if it was your scent and warmer of the month, um, grab that order number and see if you can exchange it being that way. I haven't tried yet, which I'm going to for ours. Um, but uh, that's what they were saying in the director's page of how they were doing that. And I don't know if you looked at the actual, I know you did, but I don't know if, if you look at the actual lid, the new lid is the same physical design. It's just but, cut out. But the very top part where it comes together is open. Yeah, they, they made a cut out on that. I think that was a really smart um, fix for that yeah. warmer because it was really cute and super popular and it was just really unfortunate that it it didn't I don't know how they expected the scent to get out of it in the first place but whatever um yeah, it had a teeny tiny opening I bet it smelled real good in the top yeah um <laughs> the love and the zen rock warmers they are our $25 warmers they're gonna go they're gonna have an increased price of $30 um I don't think that's taken effect yet let me double check I think that you have, um, if they're even in stock. They are $25, but at the end of this month, they will be going up to $30. So if you have anybody um, that is interested or has had their eye on either of those warmers, definitely um, touch base with them and let them know that they're going up. It'd be a great opportunity to post that in your VIP groups and share that this warmer is going to have a price increase at the end of January. Um, and the reason the price is going up is because the cost to manufacture it has increased. Uh, and that is about all the big deal things we have tonight. So I wanna thank you guys so much for coming. I'm going to stop the recording. Bye.